Everything's going robotic. I'm going to do something brief. I'm going to share an experience I had. I was trying to uh, go and see my GP, and um, I switched GPs. And um, I'll tell you why. Because I got accused of being late when I wasn't. I'll tell you why there. Um, they told me, they texted me and told me I needed to check in. Well, I didn't know where to go to check in. They had changed. They changed the place where I was supposed to go and check in. They told me I was supposed to go to the pediatric clinic. And, um, I don't go to the pediatric clinic. They didn't have the uh, stand up sign saying, wait here for someone to call you as they did before. Maybe they made some changes because of the COVID thing. Maybe that threw everybody off. But uh, my point is I had to deal with a bunch of, um, I had to deal with a bank of intransigent, intransigent, uh, people hiding behind computers and not looking up to even acknowledge that I was there. And I was there five minutes early, you guys. And, um, I called the call center and told them what was happening. I told them I couldn't check in because they didn't even acknowledge that I was there. Um, I, I think I called out, excuse me, at one point, excuse me, and uh, they didn't answer. So I just stood there in front of the uh, desk while the lady was just looking at her computer, typey, type, typey, 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 typey on her computer. I finally called the call center and I said, what do I do? I need to check in and um, I can't because no one will even acknowledge that I'm there. And they said, and I said, and, and they said, do, do they have something to sign your name on? And I said, I said, no, the uh, sign in sheet is on their desk. I can't get at it. And even if I did, they'd probably yell at me for doing that. They've yelled at me before for uh, stepping over to the desk without uh, being asked. And the guy said, okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll tell him you're here. And so finally somebody comes out to the desk, the other desk next to the, the one desk and says, can I help you? And I said, yes, I'm waiting for my appointment. I'm waiting to check in. And they said, they said, you're five minutes late for your appointment. I'll tell the doctor. And so the doctor says, well, we can't, we can't have her today because she's late. Um, the, uh, person that, that, that's here at four thirty, and, and mind you, it was four fifteen. you guys, it was quarter after four. It wasn't even time for them to come in. So she sees the, uh, the doctor sees the four thirty people at four fifteen and bumps me up and tells me I need to reschedule. And I told them you're rescheduling me. You, you are treating me like someone who is late or a no show because you didn't even acknowledge that I was there after I, I tried to get your attention and the woman looks at me, deadpan, very robotic, very cold, and says, "And says, uh, do you want the appointment for May 30th or not, ma'am? Like that. And I said, and I said, I'll take it, but I'll think about it. I'll think about it, too. And I walked out, and I'm not going back there. I have been treated like that for years. That's why I haven't even gone there, even when I had COVID last Christmas. Um... I treated my own COVID and quarantined myself, tested myself, and I suffered through uh, through three really bad sinus colds without without treatment. I think I actually had treatment by an urgent care doctor, urgent care doctor uh, back in February, and I had another uh, treatment by an urgent care doctor uh, last week, and um, I'm still kind of sick. I'm not positive for COVID. But I'm still sick, and um, I also need a doctor's evaluation to deal with uh, some legal problems that we're having with our, our landlord, um, not dealing with our neighbor's noise. So um, I didn't get to see the doctor today because of their F up and not even being accountable for it, and them not even being accountable for it. Um, healthcare providers, especially when you're dealing with poor people or factory style healthcare, I want to see the receptionist look up once in a while from their computers and, and, and make sure someone doesn't need, someone is not standing in front of their desk needing to check in because I ended up being late for an appointment today and kicked out. And, uh, the, the person that was, you know, my roommates here, I want him to hear this. The person who was supposed to see the doctor after me got seen at four fifteen, and they had an appointment at four thirty, and I got kicked out and sent home. That's a fucking outrageous.
I hope you heard that, ladies and gentlemen. My roommate thinks that sucks. I'm not the only one. There's another review on Google that um, Google reviews. Um, another gentleman got accused of being two minutes late and got bumped out, too. Um, I will name this organization, and I pray I don't get sued. I I can uh, take take this down or modify this uh, if, if anyone want, wants me to, but I need to name this at least for a minute. It's Family Health Centers of San Diego. It was the City Heights branch, and um, I'll still, uh, I'm never going to go back there again, but I will cease and desist my complaints towards the entire world if they promise to improve their improve their attitude and their behavior. Be safe, everyone.